Hi guys, I hope you're all doing really great today. I have a special guest with me today. You might recognize her, but it's her what today? Birthday. <gasps> so if you guys could sing happy birthday to her or leave a message for her, she would love that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Today we are learning some more about Vasily Kandinsky. Woohoo, right? Mm-hmm. And what do we know about Vasily? He has synesthesia, right? Mm -hmm. Which means that his brain was wired differently so that he could hear colors and see sounds, right? So way back in the day, people thought, what? You can hear colors and see sounds? You must be crazy. But they decided to do more research on people's brains and figured out they don't have anything like schizophrenia. They don't have any psychological conditions. Their brains are working perfectly normal and they're usually per great intelligence or above average intelligence. And their brains, the neurons and synapses fire to different sensory areas of the brain. They believe it comes from the limbic system and that causes them to do that. Now I know somebody that happens to see colors when we say letters. Me. Yeah. And she's done this since she was really, really young. And there's a test that you can do or your parents can do and they'll ask you to say what color you see when they name off a letter or name off numbers. So they can count or they can say the alphabet and write down the color that you see and then ask you again in a week and you can't cheat, you can't memorize your answers and go back the next week and ask them and it will be the same answers. But if I asked both of them to do it, if they both had synesthesia, it wouldn't probably be the same answer because everybody sees things differently. So what we're gonna do today is a really cool project. We're going to listen to some music. I recommend bringing up something on your radio that is really long, like an opera or a symphony. And then I want you to close your eyes and listen to the music and see what you can see while you're listening to the music. Now you might not have the crazy talent of synesthesia, um, which is a really cool talent to have, but I want you to imagine what the music looks like. So if you are hearing a really long stretch of music, that's just one note, maybe that means a straight line. Or if you're hearing a lot of really short notes, you could make a grid that shows all of those notes. Or circles, you know, that are popping all over the place depending on how high the note is or how low it is. Just get creative. Um, to make the circles, we're gonna find different objects from around the house and use those for tracing circles. If you have a compass, you can also use those. And a ruler, and then paintbrush, a permanent marker, some painting paper, or you can use regular paper and colored pencils if you don't wanna paint, but we're gonna be using watercolor um, paints and she's gonna be doing colored pencils. So, all right, can't wait to get started with you guys. Vasily Kandinsky was inspired after he saw the opera Lohengrin by Richard Wagner. And it's an opera that has three acts that are composed and written by Wagner, and it was first performed in 1850. It is a German romance opera, and while he was watching the opera, he was inspired and, and actually saw circles and lines and colors presented in front of him. So what we're going to do is we're, we pulled up Wagner's opera, and we're going to listen to it. We are going to try to draw what we hear. So this is a little challenging. It's going to really stretch you out of your comfort zone, and it's going to look abstract, which doesn't, which means it's not going to look like anything recognizable. Maybe you'll recognize the shapes, but you might not recognize an object in it. 
Okay, so let's put it on and see what we can see. We're going to use a pencil first. And a ruler. Now this type of artwork can be pretty challenging for younger ones, even for older ones. And how I would help them to steer away from drawing objects is by showing them examples of Vasily's artwork online. Um, so kids, with the help of a parent, you can look on Google for Vasily Kandinsky's artwork and you'll see a lot of abstract pieces with lines and circles. So that's what we'll try to focus on drawing is lines and circles. And don't think too much about what you're creating. Just listen to the music and take your ruler and take your um, objects to trace circles and try to create what you're hearing. So in the beginning it sounds like there's a really just like a single note that lasts a long time and then notes sort of start to interweave with each other, right? And then it starts to get a little sort of chaotic with lots of different notes and parts playing at the same time. And that's what we're trying to show on here. And we're gonna paint in the areas that intersect with each other. So it is, it is challenging for most people to think outside of the box in that manner and not draw something that's recognizable and to just focus on shape. So I would just show examples of his artwork online and that will probably help a lot to be abstract. Okay, now we're going to take our permanent marker and we're going to trace the lines that we drew. So when I heard the clangs of the cymbals or sometimes instruments got really loud, I did a jagged line and that clash was X marks or a lot of notes I did grids and X marks because that's what I imagined in my mind. Um, but you know, everybody's mind works differently and everybody sees things differently. Some people, this might be really challenging. You might not really be able to imagine or see anything when you're listening to music, but um, take your time with it. Maybe come back at a different time or come back a different day and try to imagine what uh, you can see with the music. So now we're going to choose some lines that we want darker and take our permanent marker and trace them. Okay, now if you didn't think it was challenging enough to figure out what shapes you see while you listen to music, now we're going to try to figure out what colors we are seeing or feeling when we're listening to the music. So I have my watercolor paint and my paintbrush 
And Pookie has her alcohol ink markers, or their alcohol-based ink. Do you want the large side open or the shorter side? And I feel like the beginning is blue or green because it seems sort of, I don't know, it sounds a little sad and lonely to me at first. So I'm going to color in the areas that intersect. So any shapes that are created by the lines and circles put together, that's what I'm coloring in. Everybody's work is going to look very different because all of our brains work differently. 
But what I did with mine was it seemed a little sad and lonely in the beginning, so I used cool colors like blues and slowly got to greens. As it became more happy, it became yellows and oranges. And the most like climatic or, or exciting parts were red. So that was the reasoning for my colors. You want to explain a little bit about yours? Yeah. The green means I heard like really loud sound and it made me a little freaked out and then the blue is bright colors when it sounds happy then the red is the exciting too and blue and the light blue and brown are sad colors very cool Well, guys, was that easy or was that a challenge for you? A challenge. Um, a challenge. Yeah, that was kind of hard, right? Yeah. Because most people can't hear colors or see... No sounds. Sounds. <laughs> I always have a hard time thinking of how to say that. Um, now, me, when I listen to music, if I really concentrate, I can see different shapes and lines and... Um, you know, how the music feels, right? All of us can yeah. kind of feel music, right? Yeah. It gives us different feelings. So, um, you want to show how yours turned out? Yeah. Very cool. And she described the colors earlier. Mm -hmm. And this is how mine turned out. Mm -hmm. And how did yours turn out? Very cool. I like how bright and colorful it is. So everyone's is going to turn out differently because all of our brains are wired differently. We're each going to see or hear different things. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. I know we had a lot of fun and we always enjoy doing these art lessons with you guys. I hope that you'll join us again tomorrow. We are going to be making leaf shaped dishes. It's going to be super fun. And be sure to tag us in your artwork when you post it on social media. If your parents post it or you post it on Facebook, please tag us hashtag wild free and crafty so we can see your artwork. We love seeing how your work turns out. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Bye.